but from a rheumatologic perspective, there is a key back pain that's very important to be aware of. That is a condition called ankylosing spondylitis. For our purposes, I would like to divide up back pain into two main categories. One is the mechanical, age-related, degenerative, trauma-induced types of back pain, which is not what I'm talking about tonight. The other category is the inflammatory autoimmune condition where your body's immune system attacks the spine. That's the kind of back pain called ankylosing spondylitis. Unfortunately, in our clinical practice, we see it all the time. Patients are just not diagnosed in time. We see patients who've been going around and around various providers, various specialists for many years, experiencing pain, stiffness in the mornings, a lot of discomfort and just achiness. Periods of inactivity exacerbate their discomfort. These are some symptoms that are associated with ankylosing spondylitis. In addition, in patients who suffer from psoriasis of the skin, Crohn's disease, ulcerative colitis, eye inflammation, Achilles tendonitis, plantar fasciitis, these patients also tend to experience symptoms of ankylosing spondylitis more often. Now, it is a very simple, easy evaluation by a rheumatologist. It is seen a little bit more commonly in men, and typically symptoms start under the age of 45. So anybody under the age of 45 with a lot of stiffness, morning stiffness, pain, gluteal pain, an ankylosing spondylitis evaluation is warranted. The reason this is becoming so important is that other than standard conservative measures such as anti-inflammatories and physical therapy trials, now we have the therapeutics to be able to put this disease into full remission. So the sooner you seek treatment, the easier we can diagnose it and treat it.